I really just do.
Huh. Well, ain't that a bitch? That's. That is really, really bizarre. So, uh, bear with me because apparently I'm not live on one side of this and, like, everything is apparently broken. Like, I'm. I'm live. I'm on. Give me a minute. Yeah, I'm on the right profile. Uh, but for some reason. Wait, hold up. What? Oh, shit. Live stream disabled. Why is my. Wait, hold up. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You have got to be shitting me. No, that's on mobile devices, not. It is at least one thousand. Yeah, yeah, but okay. So why the fuck? Okay, so I don't have. Give me a sec, guys. Cause, well, apparently my ability to stream on YouTube has been revoked. What's up, everybody? I'm Dante Crisis. Can you guys hear me? Did I turn on my microphone? I did. Yeah, according to this, my. My ability to live stream on YouTube has been revoked. Now, I don't know why though. I'm trying to fucking figure out why. Like, the worst thing is, I don't have a community guideline strike. I, I don't think. Let me check my, let me check my fucking uh, Gmail account. I I don't know what the hell is going on. Why Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to have to I'm going to at YouTube about this. No, cuz apparently No, cuz apparently my I my um the access to live streaming is not currently available on this account due to community guideline strikes or copyright issues You cannot live stream at this time But that's the thing, I don't... Okay, so, here's the thing. The reason why I'm utterly confused, I'm looking at my channel statistics right now. My copyright status is in the green. You have zero copyright strikes. My community guideline status is in the green. You have zero community guideline strikes. I have no strikes, and 
the only thing I have in this is only on two of them. I have caught I have some copyright claims only copyright claims on uh, PC gaming and Ubisoft That's on those two so unless this unless the stream got immediately fucking struck down when I scheduled it I have no fucking clue what's going on But I, but, but that's, okay, why the, f sorry, give me a sec, guys. No, that's, you, uh, Cyber, that's, yes, I can't. My, 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 my right to live stream on YouTube has been revoked entirely. Fuck, I didn't, I didn't really want to show this, but fuck it, I might as well. Give me a minute. Channel, check this shit out. Check this bollocks out. There you go. There you fucking go. Give me a sec. Like, seriously, no copyright strikes, no community guideline strikes, none of that shit. I have no goddamn clue what the hell's going on, and I have no emails at all explaining why I can't live stream. Like, the only emails I've got is a copyright claim release from uh, a copyright claim release. Um, that's a good fucking question, actually. Let me double check that. Um, god damn it. Where the fuck is my junk file for the Gmail? In social, it isn't updated. Okay, my. Okay, I got apparently one. Let's survive, but that's. No, 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 no. Hold on. Cyber, here's the thing. If. Okay, let me let me double check. Maybe. Live stream now. Um. Welcome back. Nope! I can stream on this. Ch I can stream on my other channel. And by the way, here's the other thing. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but the reason why this confuses me even more now is the fact that my other YouTube channel that I stream on ha is under the same goddamn account. Not account, it's under the same Gmail. So if there was anything to do on this channel, it would come through the same Gmail. Um, I'd, st I'd get Gmail e emails about it. Let me check my channel. Um, No. Live streaming, you can live stream on my second channel, Dark Knight Dante. Fucking serious. God, I knew something was gonna. Sorry, today has not been a good fucking day.
I'm not gonna lie. Today has not been a good day, and I don't want to. I'm not asking for, for sim sympathy, but today has not been a good fucking day. So I should have fucking seen. I should have fucking had the clairvoyance to see this shit happening. Yeah, I don't see any junk file. All I'm at the moment, I'm seeing nothing as far as going back. Why I can't live stream? Like, first of all, I spent an hour and a half in a meeting that ended up being completely goddamn worthless because I had to do, because out of it came one application out of an hour and a half, which is fucking stupid. Then I go to Subway to get myself breakfast, and I end up putting tomatoes on my fucking sub. I know first world problems, but I really don't like fucking tomatoes. Like, they they pretty much make me vomit on contact. And then now this. Ah! Come on. Come on, who, who did I kick- who did I kick in the nuts to deserve this? Who did- who did I swiftly kick in the bollocks? Go fuck yourself, Vector. Th you know what? This is all your fault. This is all your goddamn fault somehow. Somehow this is all fucking Vector's fault. I've been fucking Susaned because of Vector. God damn it. I need to, uh... I'm just gonna put the word out on my Discord. Fuck. Give me a minute. Oh. Oh yeah, we're six minutes away. We're six minutes away from E3. Hold on, give me a sec, guys. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's because I've been it's because I've been giving out I've been giving out shit about streaming services, canvas bags, like it's 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 all coming back to bite me. Oh, oh you know what? You know what I should do? I should take screenshots and send them to Memology. He'll get a fucking field day out of it. Give me a minute. I want to watch it, but then again, that's what's new. They're gonna show remakes of old games. That isn't that isn't necessarily Nintendo's way. But no, seriously, I've got the only emails I've got from Nintendo, uh, not Nintendo, from YouTube recently, since and obviously I've been live. I was live streaming the last couple of days. The only ones I've got is a copyright claim for. Um, the Control by PC Gaming Conference, the Control by Ubisoft Conference, and then a release, a claim released on the Ubisoft Conference. 
Prime 3, uh, Prime, hey, Prime 4 news update at least. For one day a week, analytics. Yeah, that's not what I fucking care about. I want to know why the fuck I can't live stream. <sighs> Guys, this is insane. Yeah, I know. I've got it. I've got the. I got the stream up. Don't worry. But yeah, this is uh, this is definitely the fucking cap to the shit day I've been having. This is this is the equivocal fucking kick in the nuts. Yeah, that's a pot. Yeah, you know what? What I'll do is I'll just I'll just transfer over from Twitch to YouTube then, because I there's no point in recording it because if I record it then it's not going to be in 1086 if you know what I mean. Because I'm upload I'm streaming in 1086 there. Oh, fuck. Fuck YouTube for that. Fuck them. They better, they better give me a god, good goddamn reason why I've been Susaned. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd be less pissed if I at least had an email saying, oh, you, you have been stopped from playing for this reason. Yeah, good point, Mecca, but the, but here's the thing, Mecca, Here's the thing. The problem with this is if this is if this is not just a sim uh, a singular event, if this is this is fucked my YouTube streaming. Like I've got to stream tomorrow. Like what the what the fuck am I gonna do for the next couple of uh for for the next while when I've got when I've obviously got streams coming? I know I have it up, don't worry. It's it's all ready. Yeah, yeah, get into get into the Discord. If you want to join me for it, go into the Discord waiting room. No, I'm only gonna be able to stream on you on Twitch Mecca. Like that's my only thought process is that Nintendo struck my... Because I scheduled the live stream, my only explanation would be that Nintendo struck the... Nintendo struck it. Here we are. Hey, Cyber. Hold on, you're low for some reason. How about now? Better? Bit better, yeah. Yeah, my only my only explanation is that they uh, struck Nintendo struck my stream before I could go live. Not actual gameplay. Nintendo's been kind of like heavy-handed with the season desist lately. Oh, it's Smash. Oh, we're getting the next character. Um, oh no, a new game mode by maybe. But this is definitely this is Smash. Smash. This is Smash. No, I know it's Smash. I'm just saying, is it a new character or is it? A new mode for Smash? What is it? Hey, dead weight. You got another sword fighter. Oh, wait, Fire Emblem, yep. Another Fire Emblem character. Of course it is. Yuri's gonna be jump. Yuri's gonna be wetting her panties. Oh, wait, is it? No, it's Dragon Age! 
you kidding me? Oh, Ted's gonna be happy. It, what is Tevin? Yeah, draws near. Is Tevin? It what is Tevin a a uh, fire a Dragon Quest fan? No, uh, Ted from Brain Scratch. Oh right, gotcha. Sorry, I don't watch Brain Scratch. Bringing the stage with this, I hope. Oh, definitely bringing the stage. I think they showed it at the beginning. My theory on Travis touchdown. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that you're not getting Travis touchdown. I'm 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 playing my world's smallest violin for you. Yeah, I know. First world problems. I didn't get the character I want. <laughs> yeah. Yo, looks like we're getting the Dragon Age crew. It's every pro tag, isn't it? I love to it. We're equifighters. Hey, for people who want a Goku and Smash, there you go. God damn it. But yeah, thanks. Thanks for coming over, Lotus. Uh, Susan fucked me. Even Samus is corrupted. Dude, you have a spell system, that was pretty good. It's self destruct? Oh wow. Well, I know I've, I know a lot of people have just collectively lost their shits at Dragon Age. Uh no, um only one of the characters. Alright, so we've had Persona 5. All of these are gonna be crossovers! All of these new fighters are going to be crossovers. Oh, yeah. That's all. That's all they're going to be. <laughs> it's going to be crossover events. Looks like we're getting uh, the new Dragon Age on Switch. I think something of Astro Chain would make it into Smash, though. Maybe we'll get gameplay or something. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No matter what people want, we're not going to get it for the simple reason you want it, so they're going to subvert your expectation and give you something you didn't know you wanted. I who would have thought Dragon... Who would have actually thought Dragon Age would make it into Smash? Like, because how much of all the... Put Goku in Smash, uh, Sakurai hates that shit. Dra yeah, sorry, Dragon Quest. Hello, Shoot me. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig into the next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing here? God damn it. <laughs> I think we need subtitles. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix up. You're not the right Bowser. Okay. Sorry. Good way. But I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. Good good way to introduce him. I like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll admit. That's not this way. No, no. This way. Bye okay, bye. I'll admit, Maybe next time. if you want to introduce him, that is the best way to Are introduce the new president. Related? No, but we get that a lot. It's the perfect way to introduce him. Well, let's get back to it. Please, take it away. Just like that, the Bowser game was revived. Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to I fucking love his name, Nintendo Doug Bowser. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every type of player on Nintendo Switch. Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, it was we got you covered. <laughs> he got dressed okay. up and everything. So yeah, he had the tie and everything. Taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion Three. Oh, Luigi's Mansion Three! I am actually very interested in this now that Luigi's Mansion is now one of my favorite fucking games. Hello. Tell Mario. Mario. You what? 
I'm saying hotel, hotel. Oh, Peach's bag. Did you see that? Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Doubtful. I don't like that voice. Luigi's <laughs> Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye. For not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. Of course, Luigi, Luigi has no luck in mansions. Sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't. <laughs> Tell me, he leave. has a, a Wii U like as a the you know like the Ghost Special device like he had in the. That'd be adorable like, as well. Yeah. Ghost Dog Companion. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. <laughs> it's a, it's First literally a vacuum slam. still. <laughs> While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. Oh and shit! We letting the smack down on ghosts! Holy shit, we're beating one motherfucker with another motherfucker now! <laughs> shit. The move set from Smash! Something, then pull when he grabs. And you can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types. Ah, damn. Dude, my. Sometimes ghosts it... may feel inclined to hang up on you. Dude, I still want that. Yeah, man. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Oh, so we have a jump now, got it. Uh, Dude, I need this. Look the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Guigi. Guigi? Between Luigi and Guigi. Oh, that's the call mode from skills. the 3DS one of Luigi's Luigi Mansion. Can do everything from slipping through metal fences. Please tell me this is online. No, it's not. Indeed, oh wait, no, never mind. It's an ability. Great for Luigi to handle on his own. I'm I'm getting this like this. I'm I'm gonna have to pre-order this bastard. God damn it! I've got enough games. Proceed with caution. Coming up to next year. And water definitely don't mix. Oh God, Paul! Now Paul please Luigi. direct your attention to the <laughs> He dies like Flubber. Spooky, sure. That's oh, it is Dark multiplayer. For local or online co -op game there's a there's a fucking tower mode. There's an online tower mode. Oh, sweet, that sounds fun. And face any challenges the tower throws at you together. Look at online tower <laughs> mode. Mine. Yeah. God damn Look it. I don't have enough money for all of these games. What a place to win. Nintendo's the wallet killer. You what? With floor well, no. Floor Nintendo's the bank killer, not the wallet killer. Many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our missing Mario? God damn it, Mario's in a goddamn painting again. Why does that keep happening? I don't, because look, look, Mario's an idiot. Luigi's Mansion 3. Alright, so it's coming out this year. My wallet. Wait, this my wallet is gonna Title. hate me. Was Luigi's Mansion 3, the latest game oh. in the series that I personally love. And we three can name and you know name the one thing that you want to know the one thing i will tell i will say this about this time, nintendo's Nintendo uh, hiring practices for their their presidents we'll be streaming content they have to at least be able to be mario one right no no including they live the, those the presidents clearly love two. the games that are being made three our treehouse yeah. will get their hands on some promising indie look at reggie like didn't reggie push Nintendo animal crossing really hard back in the day dude that whole there's so much pushing there is so much pushing for a new Animal Crossing game. Treehouse, live at E3 2019. You won't want to miss it. Or this. Have a look. Let's see what okay. else they have on the agenda. I'm hoping for Bayo 3, man. That's what I'm hoping to see. I want, pr I want Prime 4 up there. slept too long. Far too long. Actual gameplay footage. Sing me your Dark Crystal? What has become of... It's all that. Look like puppets. This looks familiar. The Dark Crystal. You never saw that old Jim Henson movie? I love Reggie the in the Robot Chicken Conference. Yeah, fire, fucking <laughs> fire flower and everybody. Oh, 
people. Unite as one. Only together can you defeat what is to come. This is like a Fire Emblem type game, isn't it? I'm not sure. Yeah, the Dark Crystal, Ages of Reson uh, Resistance Tactics. <clears throat> oh, it's something cute and adorable. What's just trying to strange land the castaway? Oh, it's, um, the Zelda. Uh, yeah, the, what's it called? Um, oh, fuck me. Um, damn it. It's Link's, uh, Link's Awakening. Link's Adventure? Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. It looks adorable as fuck. I like this art style. Again, it's adorable as fuck. Oh, hopefully we see Wart in this trailer. <laughs> uh, it looks like they're being very faithful. But obviously the one benefit to, to this over the... Uh, the um, Game Boy version, more fucking buttons. Oh yeah, no more switching between menus just for your two button problems. You know what though? They'll do. They'll keep it just to piss us off. Yeah, you're gonna have to push the playing it with just one Joy-Con. And it's coming out for Switch. It is coming out for Switch. So I mean, there's that. So I'm happy about that. Release date though. God damn it, damn hey! Oh no! We're getting a dungeon maker! Oh, sweet, I like this. <laughs> Great, where's the dick people over? Super Mario Maker? Well, welcome to Super L Zelda Maker. <laughs> Zelda Dungeon Maker. Oh man, we're gonna have so much torturous dungeon designs, aren't we? Get a fairy bottle, but you know to hold a fairy inside. Well, no shit. God damn it, damn it. Boss is from the um, Link Between Worlds. Well, yeah, the, uh, a, lot the... Of the a lot of those bosses originated in Link's Awakening. God damn it, September twentieth. Damn it. Ah, never mind. That was gonna be a next year release. What else they have? Oh, uh, Square Enix. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I owe somebody an apology because clearly we are getting a fucking, uh, we're not getting a remake, but we're getting a remaster of uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Thanks for that host, Craze. Much appreciated, brother. Um, I'm thinking it might be a Final Fantasy, uh... A Chrono Trigger, maybe? No, Chrono Trigger's not square. Uh, they, they just said the name and I missed it. Set destiny in motion with the power of mana. No way. <sighs> Trials of mana. of mana! Motherfucker! Uh, a Secret of Mana sequel. Early 2020. That's interesting, a sequel to uh, Secret wow, of Mana. Wow, we're getting all, for all of them on Switch. The three games in the series now on the Oh, it's now! It's out now! Chronicles of Mana exists already? Chronicles of Mana. Chron uh, collection of Mana. How is that not Chronicles of Mana? Seriously. Not Collection of Mana, co Chronicles of Mana. Seriously. I mean, it's seen a new Chrono Trigger in a while. We'll never get one. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. No way! Which are free on Switch? The two swords, Witcher 3. Damn! We're talking about that. That leaker was right about that. Uh. Uh, wow. Okay, so one, that's pretty goddamn cool. Second of all, I can't wait for all of the fucking downgrade jokes. Or, or oh, Witcher is now available for. <laughs> can now make it a Smash now. Now that he's on the Nintendo platform. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five Promise. years from today. Like a class what? reunion? Oh, it's Fire Emblem. Oh, no. Come, won't you? Shit! Oh, Yuri's just gonna be reminding me and reminding me years and reminding ago. me and reminding we me. We fought here as classmates. As big class reunions go, 
This one's got to be the worst in history. What should we do, Teach? Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Fire Emblem Edition. Yep. Damn it. Because Yuri, Yuri's, all, all, Yuri's guaranteed that this will be happening. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Look at my chat! <laughs> Look at my fucking chat! Yuri's just... Yuri's now officially lost her fucking mind. <laughs> Yet we have the strength to scale the walls between us, to reach out our hands in friendship, so we can open our true hearts to one another. That's how we win. I'm not the biggest Fire Emblem fan personally. I, I miss Advanced Wars, man. It's such a good series. I can't speak because Yuri will kill me if I do. Oh wait, no, I am sorry. I kind of got to add some commentary. How lovely. It's interesting though. So I'll give it that. Every Fire Emblem game looks interesting. Yeah, and it's coming out next fucking month. Meanwhile, I'm going eh. Careful, Mecca. Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. Yes, we know. With a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil in a location like this. Oh no, not more Resident Evil. Resident Evil 7, I bet. Mm. Resident Evil 7 on the Switch? No, it's, uh, someone else. Wait, is this the OG Resident Evil game? Right. What? No, this is, uh, this is live action. This isn't... This is basically showing the potential of uh, playing the Switch anywhere, I think. I don't think they're announcing a new Resident Evil. Though, that'd be sweet. A new, a new Resident Evil for Switch. Revelations 3. Come on, let it be Revelations 3. No, they wouldn't release that just for Switch. Okay. I might be wrong. Let's do this. Resident Evil. No, it's like a good date idea, huh? <laughs> what, right? <laughs> Bring your Switch and play Resident Evil yeah. with your date? Try. Yeah. To be there. Oh, no, I, I just bought this. Ah. I already have. Bad idea. Did it just eat him? It's gonna come back. Okay, 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 okay. Like I say, it's just a. It's not a commercial for a. It's not a trailer for a new Resident Evil. Did I get it? I got it. They wouldn't release it. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. Uh, maybe Capcom. Help sales. Yeah. Capcom's not gonna release a, an exclusive Resident Evil game. The to the Switch. <laughs> Revelations on 3DS. Uh huh. And then look what every and then look every it came out for everything else. It was a timed exclusive. Wait a minute. Are they saying they're releasing? Resident five is five coming to the Switch. And six. Well, no one cares about Switch. Five, okay. six, zero remake. And uh, there was another one there that just got. There was another one there in the bottom right. I didn't notice. So yeah. Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that Five, that's pretty might good. not be my way to play, but I bet you could find your way to oh, play. Oh no, not Don't six. For now, please take a look. Was today the 4th of July? If not, is the Empire striking back or what? Oh, I think this Looks is, uh... Like Okay, that's weird. No more Heroes 3? No, I don't think it is. Astro Chain. This is Super Sentai as fuck, dude. Oh, wait, no, that's that game you're telling me about. Uh, Machinima X or. Demon no, it isn't. This isn't, um, this isn't, uh, Demon X Machina. Oh, it's No More Heroes! And now Cyber's officially lost his shit. So what it the is. Fuck? So it is oh, no more heroes. Flex. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm, oh my god! 
I'm guessing oh. Cyber is now glad that he joined me for this. Holy shit! I'm also just a passing assassin. This was leaked. That's true, it was. Start the game. So, Cyber, how happy are you? Welcome. I I can't explain. Tizzy Holy shit! Still, wait, is that Sylvia? Coming 2020. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers need to wait. Oh my! Oh, Travis touched on Will return. Oh, oh. he's not a I'll take it to a game. He led an elite team. So that was. That was What the fuck? Is this a new Contra game? I uh, I didn't mention Contra then. They survived by merging together during the Alien Wars. Yeah, it is. The gentleman, the sweetest bug you'll ever meet. I think it is. This is Contra. Holy shit, though. Interesting. I was not expecting a Contra game. This, well, here's the question. Will it be digital only or physical? Digital. Because Konami's been doing everything digital lately. It's well, fuck Konami. Yep, Contra Roko. September 24th, 2019. Okay. Digital, yep. It's a Konami Digital Entertainment. And they're releasing oh, all of the other Contras. They did. That was the Contra collection. Like, yep. like a couple weeks ago. I'm just stating the fact that they're releasing them all. Here we go. This is Demon X Machina. I was not impressed with. Um, I enjoyed the prototype mission, and I even did a preview screen of it. But I said that I was not pleased with the performance of it because it dropped frames like a motherfucker, and I'm hoping they improve that. Well, you know, that was just a, like a like a beta test anyway to show the concept of the obviously, game. Obviously, obviously, but I'm just saying I hope they do improve it. If you get in our way, we had like what, like, yeah, they had time to improve it. Let's just see what release date we got. This shit, people on YouTube are complaining about the Contra game. Fuck them. I mean, Mecha is, uh, Mecha has now hit a uh, peak climax. Is developing this again? Uh, I is think it it's a, no. It's a. I think it's a in, an independent studio. Okay, someone new. That's good. I'm pretty sure it was. All right, release date, me. September thirteenth. Yeah, marvelous is making it. Ah, <sighs> I still need my wallet. My poor, poor, poor fucking wallet. See. Panzer Dragoon? Are you fucking kidding me? Panzer Dragoon! It's a remake! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Cyber! You don't know how much I love this game! I'm sure a lot of people do, just got you in my fucking ear! <laughs> Are you absolutely certain that it is a remake? I played the Panzer Dragoon, I know this stage, it's fucking made from the ground up, it's a remaster, or whatever you want to call it. Remake. Like a... Well, remaster. Yeah, Panzer Dragoon. What?! <laughs> Fuck yeah, Nintendo 1E3 already. Did they find the source code? No, I'm gonna assume this was built from the ground up like Crash. Holy shit, this winter! What?! Earlier this month, we held a Pokemon Direct for the latest... I feel like going getting my wallet and stroking it and saying it's going to be okay. <laughs> and Pokemon Shield. Yeah, yeah Shield and Sword info. Showcase the new Gala region. The location of your new adventure. And some new Pokemon you'll encounter there. It will be a while until these games launch. That is one big Raichu. So please stay tuned. November 15th. By the way, in these games... First ever console Pokemon game. No, it isn't. Accessory, allowing you to a traditional Pokemon, Pokemon console game. Games no, it isn't. For a stroll through the real world with you. What are we talking about? You yeah. may not okay, you had Let's Go and you had Colosseum and Gal and Gal of Gale of Darkness. With a favorite Pokemon that doesn't count. Then something no, good might happen. What? 
in the Nintendo booth at this year's Cyber Sunset yourself. Fans can play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Can't. for the first uh, time rope is too cheap. in the world. If they announce Twilight Princess part, I'm always it. Dude, if they do, I'm gonna fucking lose it. If they announce if they announce that and Skyward Sword ports, I'm I'll lose it. But Skyward Sword would be harder to do because it was built from the ground up to have um motion controls. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to so, so function in the between Dynamax Pokemon. I draw this person later this week. From this region. Also, immediately after this Nintendo Direct, well up your Pokemon. Thank you, even Mecha agrees that those games count. So Cyber, go fuck yourself. I am correct. And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. Shifting yep, gears. Shifting gears. Okay. Ooh, it looks pretty. Astro Chain. Got Cyberpunk. I've been waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra dimensional attack. Oh, is this the other one that I was thinking of? I think this is the one that I confused with um Demon X Mach. At this rate, Astro Chain. Astro Chain, yeah. This is if this is the one that I'm thinking of, this is the one I confused with Demon X Machina at one point. It's the one where you can have um Yes, this is the one that I confused for Demon X Machina. Because they both got announced at the at the same uh, E3, I believe. And I kinda got confused between the two. And I forgot the name of this one. This was the one that I said, because I think the video's still up. This is the one I said actually really interested me, was Astral Chain. This coming out next month, I think. Don't say that, Cyber, don't. The eShop on the Switch, has a release date. Don't say that. I'm really gonna have to fucking hide my wallet from myself. Yes, I'm gonna be fucking homeless. I don't have the money for these games. Nintendo does that. Oh, Blade Wolf! There's no way. Her, her. What good could this possibly be? Thing themselves, I love that. But it's the only shot we have. It's all up to you, my friend. A we finally got our action stand game. Oh, right? maybe I should say. Why is that because we don't have a JoJo game? That we can now fight with stands. I've got no like, well, like that isn't a fighter. So many games coming out this year. But it's okay. But it's okay because Switch is on on the go. Ah! If you want to... August this year. Right. Oh, Platinum Games! Platinum Games! Oh, come on, Bayo 3. Give me some Bayo 3. It is. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. It isn't. Oh, no, bullets, bullets. It could be Bayo. No. Never mind. Paradox Romero, and oh. Romero games. Looks oh, like oh, Platinum Games have got themselves into, uh... No, it's, uh, it isn't. It, this looks like something else. Me guns. Oh, it's an isometric shooter. Oh, is it Guns and Cannolis? <laughs> guns and Cannolis. <laughs> what a name. Mm. That's, a, that's a legit game on the Switch. No, Empire of Sin. So it looks like Platinum Games is moving into publishing as well. Death then. by our hands is not an honor they have earned. Another Marvel. Oh, it's um. Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance. Ultimate Alliance 3, I think. Yeah. Doctor Octavius. Even with this stone at my command, this may not be a battle we can win. God damn. Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep right, meet us. Of course, by the Miles way, is gonna be in by this. the way, from what I heard, and can someone confirm this, that the uh, the new uh, the new Avengers game from Square Enix is going to be a four uh, is going to be a four player multiplayer game. Am I, was I correct in hearing that? If so, then that's disappointment because uh, you know what? It's almost like everything has to be fucking four player multiplayer. The co-op couch has died. 
yawn so far. Oh, Sval saying yawn. So slider one. That's pretty dope. Solo and multiplayer. Okay. But the worst thing is, is if it is. Uh oh, fans has got the Infinity Gauntlet again. But is the problem? Is the problem with that? Is if they if they say it is four player multiplayer, then it's built to be that. Then the solo experience is just going to be disappointment. Is it, oh wait, there's expansion passes for this game? Man, what the hell is the Marvel Knights? What? It's the Legend of Zelda Crypt of the Dancer. Crypt of the Necro Dancer game. Yes, uh, I know. I interviewed the dude who did uh, one of the soundtracks for this. Well, um, for Crypt of the Necro Dancer. First time Zelda's playable in a. Uh... Since uh, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, I think I'm saying that wrong. But they you, said you that about the great point too bring friends or suffer, but then they've added the AI companions back craze. Yeah. Agents of Hyrule. Oh, yes, yeah, Sonic, at, Sonic at the Tokyo Games. Hey, Gwen, what are you doing? Your fat ass ain't running. It's uh, the Tokyo Games. Surfing the Tokyo a to a sport? Oh shit! This is is this Olympic Games or the X Games? I just told you it was the it's the Tokyo Games. I know I'm I'm being funny though. Wait, what the fuck? Tails and judo outfit. What the what? I have to get this one. I kind of skipped every other. <laughs> Yoshi every other, looking uh, dummy fit. Eh, hey, they're popular games. I'm not gonna hate so, on them. What do you think so far? I'm enjoying. Some follow-up information on a game fans have been waiting for. Uh oh, wait a minute. Follow-up information on a game people have been looking forward to. Prime four. Arrow three. Mother three. Your attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway package charter flight will soon be arriving at the deserted island. The deserted island. Oh! Animal Crossing! This is Animal Crossing on the Switch. Oh, lot. Now everybody has officially gonna... Now, now, watch YouTube. Watch YouTube, I guarantee you in about... Give it a, a minute and 30 seconds, this is gonna be trending on Twitter. Look at those fucking. Oh. Look at those vacant expressions. Flimsy eyes. Look at those vacant expressions. They're the, they're the faces of people that are gonna murder you in your sleep. Is this Survivor Animal Crossing Edition? No, no, this is Don't Starve uh, Anim Animal Crossing Edition. You know, you can't top Leaf, you know, being the mayor of your village, so fuck it, you're left outside. Pocket a whole tree? Come on, don't you understand? In video games, your pockets are endless pocket dimensions. <laughs> don't you understand that? Oh, dang. Yep, it's a whole new Animal Crossing game. It's coming Animal out Crossing New Horizons. March 2020. 2020. It's your itemized bill. <laughs> so that includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course, and nut phone. Grand total sum of- WHAT?! 49,000 bells?! Jesus! Stay modest! This title as a 2019 release. However, we need Holy to change shit. its release date to March 20th of 2020. To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer than we thought. Nintendo over- over- extending themselves? The latest installment of Animal Crossing. It won't be the first nah, time. happens. Hey, at least they, at least they tell you they just want it, they want to work on it. Yeah. Well, Animal Crossing sells a shit ton, dude. I mean, for fuck's sake, they did it with Prime, and they fully admitted they were out of their depth, so they've gone back to until it starts. Give it back to retro. By the way, yeah. there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo. So it's Prime One, Two, Three is canon again. So we prepare to highlight real. It's always canon. and beyond. Let's have a look.
to you, Amiibos. Alright, so Spiral uh, Reignition's coming to Switch. Oh, wait, I thought it was already on Switch. The, uh, a Crash sold well on the Switch, why wouldn't Spiral? Nino Kune. Kune. Isn't there a rumor about Nier making it to the Switch? Uh, Minecraft Dungeons is coming, that doesn't surprise me. Minecraft 2, break into Electric Boogaloo. Fuck you, Elder Scrolls Blades! Go die in a fire! Go die in the same fucking inferno that Sval will eventually die in. My friend Prey Draw. Doom Eternal. Doom. Let's just interested how they're gonna play this on the Switch, honestly. The Sunken City. God damn, that seems to have dropped off the map a little. Youngbloods is coming to Switch as well. Dead by Daylight. Isn't that the game that, uh... Isn't that the game that the people from, uh... Until Dawn? Or no? No, that is Until Dawn. No. Wolfenstein Youngblood isn't. It's it's Machine Games. I was talking about Sunken City. Yeah, they're the guys who did Until Dawn. The Sunken City? I don't know. I think it's the same publisher, maybe. Uh, we saw from E3 coming to Switch. Yep. Yeah, uh, my my privilege. I ha I no longer have the privilege to stream on YouTube right now. Hopefully that gets uh, fixed fixed pretty soon. Oh, Katana! I always wanted to play that. I always wanted to play that board game. But I can play it digitally. Again, I it thought would that was Conqueror for some reason. You know, again, it would it be a case of uh, it would make sense. It, I, 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 I wouldn't mind so much. I wouldn't be kicking up a fuss if I got a fucking reason, but I didn't. I didn't get a, I didn't get a, I didn't get an email. I've got no strikes, so you know, I mean, it's like you know, fuck you, Dante, right? Oh, more smash info. Oh, are we getting another character? Oh, rival. It's a rival. It's probably an Echo Fighter, I bet. Bossy stunt. The fuck. Wow, that's a scene I never thought I'd see. Okay, that is certainly oh. something I didn't think I'd ever see. King K. Rowland fucking... Was a, that was a Jiggy! That was a Jiggy! No way! Banjo! That was a Jiggy, dude! Yes! 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 Woo! Yes! Oh, you dick! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck that dog! Fuck that dog! Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! Banjo Kazooie are back home, motherfuckers! To rare. Oh, they are ready to go! I love that! Oh my god! That model looks so good! It does! So it makes you wonder how Microsoft fucked up this long! Oh, they've even got the original voice! Oh! Oh, Final Smash, what's this? Oh, they've got a Spiral Mountain! Oh, they've got, oh! Oh, the Smash! Oh my god, the Final Smash! Damn! Good shit, King K. Roll. Oh! <laughs> the f the leaks were correct, I guess. Oh my god! Oh, right, we need we need or oh two more characters though. No, oh, bro, that's my childhood right there. So oh two more characters though for the um season pass. Ah, oh, fall. That obviously wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? You assholes! Stay tuned for more there is fucking blowing DLC up right now about this. As for Nintendo Switch, Holy shit! More games in development I am so happy! I'm looking forward to God damn it, Nintendo know how, to, know how to hit my childhood. Speaking of, 
I think blood is gonna spill over that banjo amiibo when that comes out. I actually have one more thing to show you. Oh, one more thing to show us. If it ain't Bayo, my chat will riot. Until next time. It needs to either be a Bayo trailer or it needs to be a Prime 4 trailer. This doesn't have two characters. Right? This is Metroid. No, it isn't. Are you sure? Yeah. Is that the Skull Needle from Mortal Kombat? It's fucking Zelda! News. Is this in the Breath of the Wild? Is. What? Is this a Breath of the Wild Breath expansion? The Wild expansion? I think it is! I thought Calamity Ganon was vanquished in Breath of the Wild. Ganon is. Oh, dude! The fuck was that? It's Ganon's body. Body. Are we gonna try and save Ganon, Dorf? Save him? The seal? Think about it. Break, you know, break him from the curse of demise. I don't know, but the see. Holy shit! It's actually a sequel. Breath of the Wild Two. The sequel. Oh. A sequel? I, I mean, I wasn't... Wow! Where else can they go, though, from... Uh, where else can they go from... Yeah, because... Hyrule, though, they would have... Because that's clearly the same fucking Link and Zelda. So that is... That, that's a direct hey, sequel. Good morning, everybody, and welcome... Holy shit, shit! That was... Like, that was a direct... That's a direct sequel. That's the Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time. That's a direct sequel. do not look like there's that much of a time skip because that looked like the same Link and Zelda. What oh, the fuck? No, I think yeah, her hair yeah. was up. Her hair was up. Are you sure? Look like it. Huh. Where do they I'm go mad. with that? Like, like, why are they visiting Ganon's body? I that's my question. That is, it has red threads. That's, that's Ganondorf's body. I have no fucking clue. The the fucking the the this the <coughs> fuck I threw my voice. The the fucking the the chanting backwards was creepy as hell. By the way, I'm sure everybody no Mecca. We all know why you're not giving it a ten on ten. I know why you're not giving it a ten on ten. No no bail no bail information. And no no uh no Prime Four update either. No Prime Four um up, uh, dev update. But holy Hello. shit, that was really good. Fucking Nintendo smacking my childhood. But if that's in, but that's the thing. They said that that's that that's in development right now, meaning that that is most likely we're most likely gonna get a trailer for that next year. It's either that or we're gonna get a trailer for that next year along with the next um the next Switch. Do you know what I mean? Um, like weren't they supposed to like to, weren't they in talks about the the Switch Mini like a like a smaller version of it? No, no, the the talk. It's, uh, well, that changed. Apparently, it's a more powerful switch that's uh the the they're in talks with, which is more pr more probably more along the lines with doing a um a like switch two, most likely. But holy <laughs> shit, that was uh that was good. I'm I'm not gonna front that. That was short, sweet. Funny how, funny how Nintendo gave us everything, very little in the way of gameplay. But, well, no, you, that's the thing. <coughs> <coughs> you say little in the way of gameplay, but we saw, I, but we did, we saw gameplay. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, we didn't see the controller in anybody's hands, but we did see gameplay. I mean, we got the gameplay for, um, we got the gameplay for the new Smash characters, which is Dragon, Dragon Quest, and. Um, Banjo Kazooie. Oh my God, Banjo. Uh, we saw gameplay. I'm just looking through now. Um, we saw gameplay for the new uh, Luigi's Mansion Three. Uh, we saw gameplay for the what was that Crystal something? What was that again? The Final Fantasy game. No, the Crystal game. Oh, the dark, the uh, the the Dark Crystal. Yeah, Dark Crystal. We saw gameplay for um, Link's Awakening remaster. 
Uh, we Panzer Dragoon. We saw gameplay for Panzer Dragoon by looks of it. Not much, but we did see some gameplay. Still from the ground. Um, Man, that's a... Marvel, we saw for Ultimate Alliance 3, we saw gameplay. Like, we saw gameplay. We didn't see it in the... We didn't see it in the... We didn't see the control in someone's hands, but we saw gameplay. Yeah, that is... Um, the... No More Heroes 3. That wasn't really uh, gameplay. That was more of like a... Yeah, that was a trailer. Like, No More Heroes, that was definitely... No More Heroes 3, that was definitely just trailer. I just thought that was the, the... What's it called? The Demon... The... Demon X Machina, that was... That was gameplay. I can attest to that. Like, that was faster gameplay than what I expected, but that was gameplay. Uh, definitely saw gameplay to the uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer update. You saw gameplay to Animal Crossing, even if it, it even if it is like alpha, but it is that is gameplay. Uh, is the gameplay of Fire Emblem, or was it just more cutscenes? I don't really. That remember. was cutscenes for Fire Emblem, but there's a copious amounts of fucking. Uh, there's copious amounts of um, gameplay out for Fire Emblem Free Houses. So yeah, the, the, to turn around and say that there was very little in the way of gameplay is dishonest, disingenuous, and just outright wrong. Uh, Nintendo mm -hmm. made you, your shit day a little less shit, right, Dante? A tad, a tad. I still want to fucking, I still want to know why I, my my streaming rights on YouTube have been revoked. Uh, because, so no uh, Super Mario VR your world. Your wallet's gonna die. You what? Because you're also your wallet's gonna die too. You're happy, but then sad at again. Yeah, because my my wallet is my wallet is going to fucking fry in the depths of hell. Oof. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna suck. That that is that is gonna suck majorly. I was kind of hoping to see some uh, like concept art of Metroid Prime Four at least. That's like, why hey. I was saying that. That's what I was saying when I said I would have loved to have heard like a development update on where Prime Four is right now. Sorry for yelling. Some your also ear. felt pointless, like the RE pro ports and the Zelda announcement feels like Prime Four reveal uh, too soon. Maybe, but I would turn around and say that. Um, give me a minute. I'd say the. Oh shit. I'd say the diff the difference between the Prime Four, and I'd say the definite difference between Prime Four and the Zelda announcement was with Zelda. You know, there's not going to be much of an issue with them with that because by looks of it, it might be running on the same engine because it's using the same art style. I mean, I'd, I'd be upset if it's using the same assets, uh, like too many of them. You know what I mean? But this is something that uh, that can be confidently said that they're going forward. That they're because, that, like they said, it's in development, like it's being made right now. And if they're going to say it's in development, I'd say they're pretty deep into development right now. Um, I hope they give Link a voice this time, especially if they're going to give everybody else voices and call him Link again. That was my. That was like one of my biggest criticisms of Breath of the Wild, and fully voice it. Like no, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like key characters being voiced, that's fine. But then voice everybody else. Voice the fucking every. Voice everybody. Um, Prime Four is a different story, considering it's Nintendo picking up on an established franchise that they had no experience making. Like, the Prime series is when you think Prime series, you do think retro games. Yes. God damn it, Yuri! The alerts ain't on, but motherfuck. God damn it, Yuri! Nothing. Yuri just donated twenty pounds to me. Nice. God Big damn it, Yuri! Thank you, Yuri. He's slowly creeping over towards that fucking seven hundred marker. Uh, well, it's more personal. I get excited. I I got more excited. You need them games. Clear, fucking clearly. Otherwise, people are just going to be bitching saying, why aren't you playing this game? Oh, man. I, I am going to do a Panzer Dragoon playthrough. Did that have a release date? Does that kind of... I gotta, 2020. I gotta, 2020? Uh, of course. <laughs> rail shooters are like one of my favorite... Like, on rail shooters like one of my favorite uh, game genres. Oh, rail shooters are one of mine as well. But like I said, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like the... Like I said, with... With the with with the Zelda one, with a Zelda game, Nintendo has more. Con I'd say co Zelda they have more confidence announcing it. They have more. They have more confidence in announcing a Zelda game because they know that they're gonna go forward with it because they that's their franchise. But the Prime series, that they were stepping, they admitted 
they 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 they, they scrapped the entire thing because it wasn't up to snuff with what they wanted because they because I think they figured out that no the prime series was retro studios they're the only ones we believe can make a prime game yep. uh in in to to stack to stack up to uh be faithful to the original prime trilogy you know now that banjo's in smash you think we're gonna get banjo kazooie ports to the switch probably not Think about it. Wait a minute. We got Castlevania. We'd like. Oh, sorry. YouTube team. YouTube just got back to me. Everybody. We'd like to know more. Could you confirm what exactly you're trying to stream? Also, do you see an error message? If yes, share the screenshot with us. Uh, to to look into it. Keep us posted. Give me a minute. Uh, YouTube acting funny as always. I was going to live stream the. Nintendo the pre con and you know what I might be throwing other people over the under the bus but I'm also I'm gonna put in brackets like so many others <laughs> like so many others but I found my streaming has been revoked. Give me a sec, guys. Sorry, this is important. Revoked. I have no error. Yeah, I'm hoping for more ports on the Switch, too. I was hoping for a Star Fox Zero port or a Kid Icarus Uprising port. That would have been amazing. Yeah, so again, sorry about this guys, but I'm sure you can understand my, my cadence on wanting to get this sorted. Uh I hope we get ports for Switch. We're not gonna get them. Like, here's the thing. You know what? You know I know it's uh I know it's a severe thing. Like it's something that is like um in the realms of never going to fucking happen, but you wanna know what needs to happen? Nintendo needs to open that wallet and buy the the Banjo kazooie franchise. But no, once Microsoft owns something, they don't let go of it. Yeah, true. Conquer. I would love to see a new Conquer game. Oh, that all of that happened because obviously they fucking bought Rare. They bought Rare thinking they could buy Nintendo. Nope. I don't fuck. Do not buy Nintendo. Fuck no. Do not. Do not bother. I don't want them to buy Nintendo. But no, uh, I don't know. It's I'm I'm happy. So I have two more characters coming to Smash, though. So like of the it, they're all. Of the I guarantee you. No, I guarantee you. We're not because they've got because they have all of the returning characters minus the Waluigi. Rest in peace, the purple bastard. Um, I guarantee you, it's all it's all going to be crossover characters. Like I said, up to now we've had Persona, Dragon Quest, uh, Banjo Kazooie. Two more. Think of two more games you can. They can cross over with. And it's not going to be no more heroes. So don't get your hopes up. No. But no. So this Mama. is this is what I just said to YouTube, and I, I don't want to. Again, it might be throwing other people under the bus, but it's the goddamn truth. Because they asked me. Um. They, again, I'll reiterate what they just said. We'd like to know more. Could you confirm what exactly uh you are trying to stream? Also, do you see any error message? If so, share a screenshot for us to look into. Keep us posted. This is exactly what I said. I was going to live stream the Nintendo E3 conference in brackets, like so many others. Close brackets. But I found my streaming has been revoked. I have no error messages, no strikes, and no email. No emails explain uh to explain it is that, it, that it's just been revoked and then i showed the screenshots that i have no uh, co uh community cri uh, copyright strikes um community guideline strikes or any emails explaining why the fuck i can't stream but yeah so 
There's, there's a lot of... So, sorry, going back to the Nintendo conference, there is a lot to be excited for. There's things to be excited for right now, next for next year as well, and for the future. Because here's the thing. I think there was only, like, maybe one or two games. One definitely was the new Zelda game. I, don't, I think there was another game. But every game they announced for, e for, for Nintendo is coming out either this year or next or or next year there was there was rarely any games like i said i think there was only like one game they showed that there is no release date that they just uh teased us with and that was the new zelda game everything else has got solid release dates that's either coming out this year or next year to be re i can't wait to read all those tw those twitter theories about the new zelda story that's going to be interesting I mean, you, I know, you may be right. I mean, oh fuck's sake! See, my my thing is with the with um, my thing is with the new Zelda, and the thing that really does annoy me slightly is they clearly stated in they clearly stated with um some of the dialogue in the final fight that Ganon had given up on resurrection to come back in his full form and power, like. If you take that at face value, that means that Ganon shouldn't be coming back. He's he's defeated forever. Do you know what I mean? Vati? What? Just left it for villains, then. No, you've lost me. Since Ganon is defeated, who's left for a villain? Vati? No, but that but and that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm saying is like I don't think there is anybody because. This is the end of the timeline. So now, the, the, what they're doing is they're continuing on from, because um, they've they've turned around and said that Breath of the Wild is somehow the convergence point on all the timelines. Like this is where all the timelines would inevitably end up at, which is hilarious to me. Um, zombie Ganon. <laughs> Wait, isn't he already a corpse? Um, so oh, there's um, more of a read there, don't you think? Maybe. Oh, read Ganon. So That's unless I will turn around and say this though, that that fucking moment when he looked at the camera and his eyes glowed up, that was creepy as fuck. Like that was creepy as hell. Um But for Ooh, me you get... Oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna everything about this. Give me a second, I'm just gonna bring this back on screen. We'll we'll have a we'll have a, a closer look. But yeah, like they're, they're not being shared. This is a continuation. Like right now there's one there's now one timeline. Like this is this isn't a branching timeline anymore. This is a singular timeline, and we're back in See, Hyrule. That's the thing. We're in Hyrule. Sure, it's Hyrule. Maybe they could have went to Termina. No, no, no. There's Hyrule. You can see Death Mountain and um, Hyrule Castle in the background. That is creepy as hell. That that's the kind of shit that haunts your nightmares. Panzer Dragoon, though. Cyber, look at my stream. That's the kind of shit that haunts your nightmares. He's got the jewel in his forehead. Yeah, Ganon. If that, that is Ganondorf, Ganon's body. if that is Ganondorf, then my only explanation is they're going to break. They 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 could be going to break the curse entirely, like to to stop the death curse. It would be interesting to have like the the three heroes of the Triforce, right? Originally. Power, wisdom, and courage. Wait, so, so you're saying that Ganondorf? Are you are you saying that Ganondorf? You, we're gonna get a face turn for Ganondorf. That'd be amazing. I mean, it'd be something. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be amazing, but it would be something. Hey, come on, they, it's. But how, how how the hell is that gonna become a good guy? Look at that corpse. Well, Ganondorf is resurrected. Well, Ganondorf is resurrected, just like Lincoln. Like, like Lincoln, uh, not resurrected, reincarnated. Here's the problem with your theory. Here's the problem with that theory. This is the same Lincoln Zelda from Breath of the Wild. Hold on, let me see if I can get a fucking picture of a still of them. Give me a sec. Let me play this out. The thing is, Sir Bing gives me crap about that I put Oh, too much she has had a haircut. Things. You are right. I, I, I take that back. You are right. I thought she just had it tied up, but no, Zelda has had a fucking haircut. She's, um, she's rocking Bing, that short of her. Uh, Bing gives me crap about that I always, like, put too much thought into everything. Dude, you should have heard my fucking rant on, uh... Yeah, so that... 
that is the same legend, the same because they've they they said that it's the sequel. So this is the con this is a continuing story from Breath of the Wild. So all the timelines converge here, right? Maybe all the links will come together. No, 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 no. So it isn't that they converge. It's all of the timelines. So basically, it's kind of like a day. I'll, I'll, I'll finger this. Uh, ooh, that sounded wrong. It's like this. So the original timeline was like this, and they got split into three. This is the end of the timeline where all of the timelines converge. Like no matter the out, no matter what the outcome of what happened when the timelines split, all of those timelines eventually join back together at Breath of the Wild. Let me see if I can hold up. Give me a Let me see if I can bring up a visual representation. Basically, it's basically a bottle. It's like a bottle of water tilted over, but being caught into another bottle of water. Zelda timeline. Uh. The official Zelda timeline. The fucking Zelda timeline is nothing but bollocks. Link still has his motorcycle though. Oh, he better have that fucking motorcycle. That thing was awesome. This is Divine Beast. You know that, right? Yes, I know it's a Divine Beast. I didn't realize this. Someone pointed it out to me, like, you know, that's Link's Divine Beast. I'm like, he didn't have a Divine Beast. Only the, only the four champions did. Who was the champion? Oh yeah, Link was the champion. Yeah, why doesn't he have one? His motorcycle is one. Oh, yeah, he didn't. He, he just didn't get it until the until everybody just until everybody remembered. But I can't. Okay, I can't find a, a representation. But from what I was, what I was heard and told, there is a it is the end of the timeline. Like it's what all three timelines. I originally thought it was the end of the hero dies timeline. That that starts with the original Legend of Zelda and then Zelda Two, uh, the Adventure of Link. I thought it was the end of that timeline, and then I got told that um. The, the the three timelines converge on one singular point. It's like a nexus point linked together. God damn it, Craze. That's a fucking horrible pun and you know it. It's a terrible pun. Um, But yeah, so God knows uh, where they're going to go with that. But like I said, that's the only one that we've got te that we got teased with. And I'm curious how, how in development that is. Um... I I feel like they're gonna have to add a new location, though. You know what I mean? It yeah. Be a, or or will it be a sandbox thing again? Because like it's, it's gonna be everywhere. sandbox. No, this this is now. I think that is why they converge the timelines. I think that's why they they put a nexus point for the timelines. Is because now we're going now Legend of Zelda from this point on the mainline titles, not the spin-offs, the mainline titles like. The main console titles, should I say, like Breath of the Wild, are now going to be open world from now on. Yeah, so yeah, so what what um that's that's that is what um Breath of the Wild is. It's the temporal nexus point where all of the time all the time streams converge on one point. Like no matter the outcome, whether the hero died, the hero lived, or uh the fucking world got flooded. Somehow, somehow that works. Don't ask me how. I've, I, I've, I've honestly not played much of the, um, uh, the Ganon Revise. You know, you know where Wind Waker picks up. I've not played that. I've not played all of the games in there. But apparently, all of the timelines lead to Breath of the Wild, and now we're on a singular timeline again. And that's where, and this is now where the sequel comes in because it's a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. I hope my theory though about Ganon fighting uh, Ganondorf fighting the mice within seems that I don't know that concept seems interesting. Here's the problem with that theory. Here's my here's the one here's my one nitpick with that theory. If they do that, if they do that, if they do your idea, that's the end of Legend of Zelda. That's officially the end. Saying like they're like, what about uh, there's other villains though? There's Vati. Okay, so uh, I I, I agree him? with that. I agree with that, but it comes down. It does come down to a a case of, um, it, it's when you think of Legend of Zelda, you think of Ganon as the bad guy. I'm not saying other bad guys have not been effective or good, but 
when you think but when you think of Zelda, especially after Breath of the Wild, when they established why Ganondorf exists and why Ganon exists, then if if you the moment you lift that curse, you you've ended the the Legend of Zelda franchise. All you have left is spin-offs. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just like the idea of like you know something something new, something like you know like maybe someone idea, play, I'm not play saying the idea. Link. I'm not saying the idea is bad, but that is that's that's the Doctor Strange moment when he when he turns around and says we're in the end game now. That's that is that's the game. That's the that's the idea they put forward when they're when when they've come to the decision we're officially ending Legend of Zelda. What can we call it? Legend of Link? No. <laughs> For they, they suggest just name Link Link now. Don't bother changing his name anymore. You, you can't even change his name in Breath of the Wild. No, you can't because I, and that leads me to the other point I was making earlier about fully voice acting everybody, including Link. And it was my one caveat to um, it was my one problem. Um, it was my one problem with Breath of the Wild is, um, he he went back to being a plank of fucking wood, as far as personality wise. Where obviously games like Wind Waker really added a lot of personality. And to Skyward Sword's credit, he was a mute, but at least Link was expressive in that game as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But Link, when Link became a reverted back to being a plank of wood, while everybody else around him was talking and was expressive. Um. Apparently, he did lose his memory, though. It doesn't matter. He was a plank of wood before that as well, especially when you look in the memories. Um, so my, my thing is, is if they're going to call him Link, if they, it, cause that, like I said, that's the first canonical game where they've called him Link and everybody has referred to him as Link, it's, especially cause obviously it's voice acted. You, you've kind of pushed yourself into a corner with that. So if they're going to do it, don't half ass it, go all out, voice everybody, like all of the, all of the characters, side characters, minor characters, voice them all. Don't need to give you don't need to give Link a voice. You can legitimately just say he's mute and he doesn't talk much. Just you could literally say that, and I'd, I'd I'd accept that. But don't but give him expressions. Don't don't make him a plank of fucking wood. I want to see that fucker smile. I want to see him laugh. I want to hear him laugh. I want to I want to see him get angry. I need a link that I can connect to as a character. Okay, because now because now sorry, give me a sec. Because now. With Breath of the Wild, Link is no longer the link between the player and the game. Link is now the character that we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, sympathize with. We we need to invest in. And that was one of the problems with Breath of the Wild, Link. That's like one of the that's like one of the problems with Breath of the Wild, Link. He is he he is his own character now because he's got a name. He's no longer the link between the player and the world. He's his own character, and he was a goddamn plank of wood. He was literally plank from Ed Ed and Eddie. But even plank from Ed Ed and Eddie had more expression on his face. Yeah. Thanks, Kokesh, for that host. I was gonna say my cyber theory is that. Dang it, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. It was something... I, I gotta write shit down. You do. I keep telling my mum... I keep telling my mum that. Uh, don't make me start telling you that. So, yeah. That's... that. That's what I hope from the next... Uh, from the next Legend of Zelda game. Voice everybody. Don't make Link a fucking plank of wood. You don't even need to... Like I say, you don't even need to give him a voice. You just need yeah, to just make him expressive. Fucking take... Take... Wind Waker as your goddamn example. Remembered. Uh, what if a Link starts off the game starts off with Link talking and he just says, I'm gonna take a vow of silence. I would fucking accept No, you don't even need that. You don't even need that. You just need to start it with Zelda looking at him and saying, So you're uh, so you're really going to take this vow of silence and then him just nodding with a smile. That's all you need! I will I will Love accept it. Like I said, I, we've always had a mute link. The CDI games don't count. I'm saying, well, the, you know how that the way that works is because maybe uh, maybe Zelda accidentally awoken Ganon's corpse, and then <laughs> Link to credit for it, saying that 
okay, you're in trouble, but I'll say I did it. God damn it. <laughs> it takes a foul of silence. But no, like, if they, if they bring... Ga- they, I don't know. My, my, my issue was... Is, my issue with... My biggest, my biggest, not my issue. My biggest concern is if they, they are really bringing Ganondorf back, they need to give a god, good goddamn reason. Because I, when I, when I play Breath of the Wild and she turned around and said that Ganondorf, that Gan, climbing to Ganon has, unless, unless, unless they use the excuse that Calamity Ganon was the out, was the um, was like um, the psychic. Last hurrah. No, not the last hurrah. No, that's Liquid Richard. Um. Unless Calamity Ganon was an outward projection of the power coming from the corpse of Ganondorf. Do you know what I mean? Like a like a project yeah, we- like a projection. Like Ganon has been dead for all this time and what's been coming back is his was has been projections, uh ethereal projections of Ganon through Calamity. So instead of so instead of Calamity Ganon, we've always been fighting a phantom again and no, Calamity Ganon has been like a Phantom Ganon to the, from the real Ganon. Like his corpse. Um. Oh, damn it! There's a fucking um. There's a there's a good example I'm trying to think of. It's it's the idea that his corpse alone is so powerful that there's so much it, it, there's so much energy left in his corpse that it's been able to project um Calamity Ganon. Like that's what happened. Is that even in death, Ganon was so powerful he was able to project Calamity Ganon out into the world. Now, in That's the a- new game, we're going to actually fight the real Ganondorf. We're going to finish his corpse, and that's when he awakens. Did that make sense? It's like, with me, it's like, I'm going with the whole entire idea that... Hell, or... Because, well, remember, there's Ganondorf and the... There's Ganondorf, the Gerudo, the Gerudo champion. Gerudo king. Uh... Ganon. But he is, uh, but no, that's the thing. That's the thing. He is evil. Like, it was established in in Skyward Sword that they even turned around and said, so long as he, he, so long as the light of the champion, so long as the light of the champion and the royal, so long as the blood of the champion and the light and the, and the royal family survive, a, um, an incarnation of my evil will, will, uh, will lay siege to the world. That is what Ganondorf is. Oh, either way, the Breath of the Wild did take it right in the direction of having uh, technology, so hopefully they kind of go a little further with that. Well, my point... Oh, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to suck as Zelda fights, over, fights you for that uh, Sheikah Slate. I mean, technically it is hers. I mean, uh, yeah, she gave it to him, so no, no gets you backsies. <laughs> no, not take backsies. I don't know. Like I say, it, it's fun to speculate, but like, like, uh, like, like they said that that's in development. So fuck knows how they're gonna go with that. That's definitely that explains, a fucking. Well, the thing is, this also explains why um they restocked on the Breath of the Wild amiibos. I was at Best Buy the other day. I'm like, wait, they. I wouldn't know anything about that. You can't buy fucking amiibos in my country. Like my, I I can buy them online, but I can't go to my local fucking game store and buy them. They don't do them anymore. I guess they. Do, I guess they didn't want people being stabbed outside of their fucking game store. Yeah, wait, though, they restocked on them. I need to. I need to grab me a few of those before they're gone again. Now they're gonna be gone now that they announced a new Breath of the Wild game. Oh yeah, um, we're gonna have to wait like four or five years. I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long. I'm, I'm gonna give it two. I'm gonna give it two years. Like from from now, two years. So 2021. Probably it's gonna be like for the new version of the Switch, like the Switch Lite. No, it's not even gonna be a Switch Lite. It's gonna be like the Switch Plus. Like it's gonna, it's gonna be a brand new Switch. Be the Switch U. <laughs> Don't fucking do that. <laughs> no, um, Switch Advance. SP. Oh, I don't got any more in me. No, uh, neither do I. Alright, so, like I said... Nintendo won this for sure. <laughs> Switch 64. Kokash has got it right. It's going to be the Switch 64. <laughs> oh, the Super Switch. No, no, no. If if this is going to be a new line, like from uh, NES onwards, it's going to be the Super Switch. Then it's going to be the Switch 64. Then it's going to be the Switch Cube. 
be the switch with three eyes in it. Exactly. And then it's going to be the switch with three eyes. With three eyes. Yeah, you're right. And then it's going to be the switch you. So the next, the next switch we're going to get is the super switch. There you go. No, no, no. We're going to get something called the new switch. Don't fucking do that. It has Joy-Cons attached to it. And it plays by your smell. Uh, Moto and your freaking advances in technology. And anyway, after the though, Switch um, will get the Wii with free eyes. Well, that's the thing. That's a hilarious thing. This, the Wii is already getting new games. Just Dance 2020 is coming out on the Wii. I swear, Ubisoft will not let that system die. Smart of them, do you know why? Because the fucking Wii U is compatible with the Wii. I feel like this is just a meme at this point. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like the GameCube controller. That fucker just will not die. We'll let it. Oh. It's like he's putting it out. Uh, highlights for me for this, uh, for, for the Nintendo conference, No More Heroes 3, Banjo and Smash, uh, and, and, and Dragon. And Sorry Dragon. for yelling at that. Did not mean to do that. That's fine. That's fine. My ears, my, my I'll forgive you. My my ears won't. All right. So the highlights definitely for me, uh, Banjo in Smash. Fuck yes. I now legitimately have a fucking reason to get the fight pass now. Like I'm not kidding you. He that that one character coming out at the end of the year is the reason I will buy the fight pass. Or is he next year? I don't know. Uh, Luigi's Mansion yeah. free. Because now I'm a big fan of Luigi's Mansion. I fucking loved that game. So now that is a de that is a definite purchase for me. Um, let's see. Panzer Dragoon. Contra game looked pretty good too. I'm pretty hyped on that. Um, if I don't say, if I don't say uh, Fire Emblem Free Houses, Yuri will castrate me. So uh, Fire Emblem Free Houses. When you give a mod a sword, they're gonna do use it. No, when a mod, no, when a donator gives you money to buy the game to play it on stream, <laughs> you give them too much power. I'm joking. Um, I need to play Which the no I need to play the other No More Heroes games. That's what I need to do. I need to play the other No More Heroes games. I have a I have a Wii set up, so I could do it. Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna wait for the Travis strikes? Uh, Travis strikes again uh, on PS4 or no? Uh, you know what? The problem is, is I really want to play uh, Paradise, not Paradise Lost. Is it Paradise Lost? The 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 PS3 version of No More Heroes. Heroes Paradise, yeah, that's the PS3 Heroes version. Paradise, yeah, that's the one I want to get. Problem is, it commands a ridiculous amount of money. Give me a sec. Let me tell you how much it commands. Uh, I I have it on PS3, but that game is so fucking buggy. Uh, no more heroes. Uh, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Uh, No More Heroes for the PlayStation 3, uh, 35 pounds, 38 pounds. So over $40. That game commands a ridiculous amount of money for play for the PlayStation 3 version. Um, I'm just it's thinking. It's a buggy mess though. Yeah. Well. <sighs> but shit, why am I so tired? I don't know why I'm so tired. Um, well, obviously, uh, I can pl I may be able to play it. I'll be able to play it on my Wii U anyway, so I can get the Wii, I can get the Wii version. Same with Desperate Struggle. Um, sorry, I'm just looking through what else. I mean, there was a bunch of uh, games shown that were coming out this year anyway on the Sizzle Reel. Uh, yeah, so that, and obviously, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, Wii is the Skyrim of Nintendo. <laughs> fucking corpse that just won't fucking die. God damn, the Wii U died quicker than the fucking Wii. Think about that. The Wii has officially outlasted the Wii U. That's that that's that that should really insult Nintendo. The fact that the Wii outlasted the Wii U. Wii U's just used to play Wii games in HD at this point. Not even real HD. Which is hilarious, because now my Wii is now a glorified GameCube emulator. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
overall, overall, what I can take away from this. Um, I missed I missed Square Enix, so I can't talk for them, but I know a lot of the Final Fantasy crowd is happy. Um, uh, so to take away from this year's E3, uh, subscriptions, subscriptions, subscriptions. Um, a lot of four-player multiplayer because, you know, we don't trust you to play games on your own, so we need you to play with your friends. Because clearly uh, we no believe... Loot boxes. Pardon? Boxes, but there's going to be loot boxes. Uh, uh, Keanu Reeves is breathtaking. And that lucky son of a bitch got a free copy of Cyberpunk 2077. God damn it. Um... Nintendo, Nintendo fucking did the did a Mark Hunt and just did a fucking walk away knockout. Uh Bethesda can, uh, uh, Bethesda pay for their audience. They have actors in their audience because they dodged the fucking blame for. Uh, they brought up the blame for Fallout seventy six and they dodged that motherfucker like a goddamn bullet in the Matrix. Uh, Microsoft is, Microsoft was basically a lot of fucking trailers for next year's E3. That's what Microsoft really came off to me as is a trailer for E3 2020. A lot of a Store lot of... for taking Shenmue 3 and making an exclusive there, even though the Kickstarter said it was for PS4, but hey, you know. No, 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 it isn't exclusive. It isn't. Uh, PS4 still? It is coming out for PlayStation 4. It's Epic Store exclusive. Okay, okay, okay. Which is pissed off the which is pissed off the PC crowd. Or bad actors. That's what I got from that Kotaku article. Um, okay. what else is there? Who else was there? Uh, Devolver. Uh, clearly, uh, stole all of the co. Uh, st- clearly stole all of the cocaine from every other fucking publisher and snorted it all at once for their conference. Presentation at E three. No, no lie. Real talk. Pardon had the best uh, presentation at E3. What, uh, Devolver Digital? Yeah, the Devolver Digital Direct. Oh, dude, that was funny as fuck. Like I said, they took all the, they took all the cocaine and snorted it. Like, I'm sure I'm sure if you go to your local dealer, they'll be out of cocaine because I, because Devolver Digital fucking bought it all. Um, what else is there? What else was it? Uh, Ubisoft. Uh, started strong. Uh, Ubisoft are the uh. <laughs> Ubisoft are the definition of a fucking stunt, a tragic stunt show. It started off exciting, it's spectacular, and then suddenly ended bloody and full of corpses. No, 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 that's it. No, 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 no they're no, they're the Titanic. Ubisoft are the def- definition of the Titanic. All, all was fine until they hit an iceberg, and then there's just bodies all over the place. There you go. Game now where we can play as a granny packing heat. Like I said, started off strong, and then they hit that iceberg, and then it all went downhill. And then the biggest fucker for me was the fucking uh uh Wii U uh was the uh Uplay Plus, which I'd also like to add an addendum to that. Uh, yeah, I it it may not be streaming, so I might I, I may be right. So there's the argument to be made that it isn't uh, a streaming service. And but it might it might as well will be. And here's the thing with subscriptions like this and EA Access, how long until they start locking content behind subscriptions like that? There's another thought to have. How long until they start locking um fucking content behind uh, these optional exclu- um subscriptions? Because I guarantee no. you, Activision's going to be the first one to do it. Of course, Activision. They're they're the kings of uh shooting shooting on their audience. And the music kept playing. Audience, that's what I'm looking for. Well, that's the thing. I don't get... Okay, so here's the thing. With Epic... With Epic, I don't... I get some of the heat. I do get some of the heat. I really do. But with Epic, I don't get all of the hatred towards them. I don't. Like, that. that's, that's the one thing that still confuses me. I do get some of the problems. Like, the store does need some working, and they definitely need a proper refund policy and all of that. But... I don't get all of the hate towards Epic. I really don't. Like, there's some things about Epic that I will turn around and say, yeah, that that that's a bit, that's either stupid, uh, annoying, or work, or fix your fucking store. But I don't know. Overall, I don't get the hatred towards Epic. It's 
It's fucking competition. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and the PC conference was interesting, but surprisingly had more fucking cringe than Ubi. Well, actually, no, they had more consistent cringe than Ubisoft. Ubisoft was actually pretty goddamn f fine until uh, until it went downhill. And surprisingly, so and surprisingly with EA with uh, Ubisoft, uh, I gave them a cringe on my cringe counter for a shirt. And then I took one away for a shirt because I gave them a cringe for that dude's Hawaiian shirt. And I took it away for the dude's skull shirt that was made up of cats because it was adorable as hell. In the rest of the Ubisoft, uh, uh, the, uh, E3 thing. It's a fucking train wreck. Like I said, it's the tight, it's the definition, it's the fucking representation of the Titanic. All was going well until they hit an iceberg and then, then there's just fucking bodies everywhere. Leave when just dance happened. Hold on, I think I think YouTube just got back to me. Nope, it isn't. It's just news for me saying that Nintendo announces that Breath of the Wild sequel is in the works. God damn it! It's like I'm being spied on by Twitter. The hatred hey, is Rizzi? fear. People don't want a Walmart of the internet. Stream feels more old internet, if you know what I mean. No, I get what you mean, but that's the problem. Is that Steam? Here's the problem. One of the reasons why I don't why I don't fully hate Epic is because they're doing they their competition to Steam for Steam to finally get off the to pull their thumbs out of their asses and fix their shit because Steam has a lot of fucking issues themselves and they and because they were the kings of the goddamn mountain they were the kings of the fucking hill they didn't sort them but now Epic comes along and starts trying and really pushing. For competition against Steam, and everybody fucking and is it this? This is what's hilarious to me, is everybody bitches and complains about Steam and all of the fucking problems Steam has, and then suddenly a competition, uh, suddenly competition comes around to uh, and tries to fight against uh, Steam, so that Steam will finally get off their asses and actually fix some of these problems. And then everybody somehow f suddenly forgets about the issues that Steam has. Like I said, I'm not blind to the issues that Epic Store has either. I'm really not. But it's just that there's some hypocrisy in it that really annoys me. At least Steam is the only place you can buy your hentai games. Well, that's the thing. We're already entering the block bus. Here's the thing, uh, Kokesha. We're a, we're already in the blockbuster uh, blockbuster phase. Look at fucking Stadia. Subscription services are the digital blockbusters. I me mean, for I me mean, for fuck's sake, Netflix started out as a fucking blockbuster clone. Rent 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 movies they'll send to you, and then boom, you have to send them back. It's scary. It's sad. And it's overall pathetic. Uh, the future is indeed dark. Yep. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the stream now, everybody, because I don't want to be going on a big, giant fuck-off rant like I did yesterday after Ubisoft and we're closing on two hours. Uh, my apologies, the fact that there wasn't a regular a regular uh, Nin Tuesday stream today. Obviously, with, uh, with Nintendo Direct coming out, I kind of figured that... Um, well, Kokesh, you go to my YouTube channel. I can't, I can't stream on there anymore, apparently. But you can go and watch the, uh, you can go and watch the Ubisoft live stream and see my fucking rant there. It was hilarious. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, regular streams will, uh, start tomorrow. So there's that to look forward to, and I'll be continuing on with Mass Effect Andromeda on Insanity. Um, but to, because obviously the uh, the Nintendo Direct. I think I missed it last year. I wanted to catch it this year, and it started at five fucking p.m., which is an hour to hour after I'd regularly start streaming anywhere. So yeah. So with a thank you, uh, Cyber, for joining me on this one. Um, I'll put your information in the description when I finally upload this to YouTube. And, thank you for having me on. And, and thank, sorry for any spurginess I brought. Oh, you brought all the spurg. Um, and thank you all for watching. And I'm sorry that YouTube has deemed me unworthy to stream on their platform so uh 
There's a big one to YouTube for that one, especially considering you gave me no goddamn notification, no email, and I've got no strikes whatsoever. So that one is directly to you, YouTube. Thank you very much. So yeah, thank yeah, thanks, you. Susan. Yeah, so thank you, everybody, and take care.